and then we're gonna go into our update which is a flow DT and forget that or else it's not gonna get some errors all right in here I'll be getting our input so it's saying if the W key is pressed then we can create a vector 3 move direct move direction and that will equal the M look at minus the minus the M cam position we, I'm gonna normalize it I mean there's many ways to do this but that's one way I doing it so you can normalize it and then I'm gonna be setting the cam position minus equals the move direction and the M look at remember you have to do it to both minus the move direction and then it will be the same thing for the A I mean hold on it's W A I mean the S and basically it's going to be a speed of positive direction okay if the A key is pressed we can have a vector 3 this is a little bit simpler move direction and that will equal to our right vector you can normalize it, well basically I don't think you have to normalize it but just to make sure just, I'm going to normalize it just to be on the safe side and then we can have the M cam position but I'm pretty sure I don't need it so do you want to put it or not M cam position I forgot the eye in here and we can be adding it to the move direction and don't forget to do it to the M look at as well and this will basically be the same for our D our D our D key but it's just gonna be the minus okay now it's gonna be our rotations of the camera which is gonna be a little bit different let me just copy this whole thing so I don't really have to rewrite the whole thing All right. okay this is for I and that was basically going to be rotating these are I and the I and J I mean the I and K it's going to be the ones going to be rotating in the pitch the camera pitch right and you see yeah in the camera pitch so it's going to be rotating in the about the X axis about the X axis and here we going to be putting our M axis and set that to the vector 3 or the right vector so it's basically re-rotating the x-axis like it's soldier about the x-axis and the M rotation angle this will be your up uh, on your liking depends how fast you want the camera to rotate it but I'm gonna have it at 0.0005 the four zeros dot F five F oh god and I'll times that by the DT 
this will be the same thing for our, for our for our K key, but just in the opposite direction. Our A and D, I mean it's not A and D, it's actually our J and L keys. So it's basically going to be rotating the uh, the camera jaw, yaw, yaw, yeah, or yaw rotation on the camera. And basically that will be the M axis. Set that M axis to equal the C vector 3 of our up vector. And that will be rotating in the, in the Y direction. And that will be plus equals the same number. And the same thing will be for the L. And basically, there you go. You have a camera class now. And that was easy, right? Not. You still are not finished yet. <laughs> we still have to do our matrix rotation stuff right now. And that will be below it. So, I wish it was that easy. That's all you have to do, right? <laughs> okay, so we can declare our matrix we can declare um, four different matrices and one will be the translate translate origin you make it simple to origin or translate back to to the position it was before and we can have our Axis rotation of the camera and our final, and that would be the final matrices of all of these combined. It depends how you want to do it, but it's called a final. Okay, our translate to origin, it's not that hard to declare. It's basically is. No, it's not set. Let's build. Build translation. And that will be. But setting it to our. The camera's origin. And we're going to have our translate back. That will translate the camera back to where it was before. It's not set. I don't know why I keep setting set. Build translation. Which will be the opposite of the translate to origin. It will be the positive. Cam position on all of them. I get Y and cam position that get Z and we can have our T final I mean not T final our axis rotation it's gonna be setting our rotation and that's that will be building our rotation about the axis. I have that function. You could get it online. I got it online. But this would be the you pass in the m axis, the axis that we could be rotating on, and the rotation angle that we did up there, uh, up there, right here. So you're gonna pass in the m axis depending what key you gonna get. That would be the axis that we're just going to be rotating on, and then angle. Oh. And our final is basically we're going to be trans. Oh, I'll show it to you. I'll write it first and I'll explain it.
translate or to origin. And like I said earlier, the in OpenGL is backwards. So it's basically you're gonna be translating to origin first, um rotating it and then translating it back. Remember you have to you have to do it right or else it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be rotating first and then putting it rotate in the and then transferring it back and that's not the right way to do it make sure you do it right and then we can have an M look at and that will be our transform or the, or the final so basically it's going to be the M look at and it's going to transform the transform our matrix to a vector 3 and set that to M look at and basically, that's it. Our camera, this is basically what everything's going to be doing. Our camera, I'm pretty sure it might not compile, right? Yeah, exactly. And look at. Hold on. Oh, that's how I misspelled it, of course. Remember, you have to call it right. We still have four errors. Translation declared. Do I misspell it? I want to translate. What am I doing? You guys didn't tell me? What else in here? Aspect ratio. Come on. A simple error sometimes. Four, the one been here. This closes that, that closes that. Yeah. Four divided by these. Right, is am I wrong or something? Something I don't see in here. That's basically what it's doing. Dividing those. That closes that. That closes. What the Jesus is going on here? Okay, but basically, yeah, you guys know there's something fixing here. I can't understand what the heck is going on. Near and far. Point is, it's the far divided by near. Mine is the far. see yeah so once you have it compiling right for some reason I don't know what I don't see why it's wrong what's wrong in here what is the number defined get projection matrix low aspiration yeah why is it defined it's just mirror. But anyways, I don't know why it's not working. Or near Z, far Z. Let's see real quick. Uh, I need to return. I remember, you have to you will have to return your M projection matrix. All right, there you go. Sorry, it took a lot. Took a while. I don't know why it's declaring as defined for some reason. Um. So yeah, basically this is our our camera class. The only thing I didn't show you is getting our input, which is basically is sim really simple. I need to show you guys that. Most important things, yes. I just wanted to show you the you guys the most important things. So once you guys have that, then basically you're gonna be having this. Okay, anyways, forget that. 
so yeah, this is our camera class, and hope you guys got it right. If you have questions, let me know, and I'll try to help you out as, as my best on my possibility, or as best as I can, I guess. So, yeah.